Will you marry me? Oh my gosh! Yes! Wait a minute, aren't these guys already engaged? Rishi, Jen wants to get married, not engaged again. I think Rishi proposing a second time without like telling his mother, it just looks like a tactic of uh, stalling. She doesn't sound committed to it. I'm gonna throw that out there for you. For someone so concerned about family and what his family thinks, Rishi hasn't really put much thought into how his actions are affecting the way Jen's family think of him. But before we unpack how how unhappy Jen's family are with Rishi, let's see how Jen's doing on her last day in India. We left Rishi and Jen at the tea stand last week, crying, as they realised Jen messed up her visa application, and once again she's going to have to leave India without knowing when she'll be back, if she'll even be back. Today is my final day on my tourist visa in India, and I'm going back to the US. Jen is in a position where she can only apply for another tourist visa back in her own country. But the application comes with uncertainty. It's a waiting game. She's got absolutely no idea how long it will take for her visa to be approved. And the timing couldn't be worse, because Jen feels like her and Rishi were so close to telling his family about their relationship. The fact that she now has to go back means next time she's in India, they're going to start from scratch again. The worst part is that we were just starting to make progress on spending time together, getting closer to telling his family about our relationship. I don't know, Jen. Like, how close were you really? The last you left it, Rishi wanted more time to tell his family, which isn't exactly a great sign. But moving back to the States is definitely taking a step backwards. And that's a step she doesn't want to take, especially considering what happened last time. The last time that Jen left India, she admitted that she found a long distance relationship very hard and she became incredibly insecure. After I first moved back to the States, I kind of spun out a couple times. If he didn't call me like at a certain time, I've thought the relationship is over. So is Jen going to spin out of control again? Or is she feeling more secure in their relationship after spending the last month together? You are committed to making this work while I'm gone, right? Yeah, we'll connect every day. It doesn't matter what the time is. Rishi, here's some advice for you. Don't make promises you can't keep, or you're gonna have a very pissed off Jen on your hands. He made similar promises last time, and we all know how those went. He didn't ghost me or anything, but the contact wasn't as consistent as it was. And so we definitely went through a period where I had a lot of doubts. We, we have to like uh, put all the efforts to get the visa. I know. Yeah. I'm going to apply as soon as I can. It's just everything seems so unsure. But hopefully this time will be different. You know what would help? Putting concrete plans into place. Plans to help ensure the uncertainty doesn't remain. For example, they could set a date to tell Rishi's family, or they could set an actual wedding date. That would also help with Jen's visa application too. But the problem is, Rishi doesn't seem to be thinking that far ahead. All he's thinking about is how soon he can get Jen back in the country. I'm completely heartbroken right now. I just want you back as soon as possible. Covid has really impacted Jen and Rishi's relationship. It was because of COVID that they had to have a long distance relationship for two years. And now that the world is opening up again, it's also because of COVID that the visa applications have huge backlogs. Both Jen and Rishi are crossing their fingers hoping that this time the visa will be processed much faster. But there's no guarantees. And that makes this final goodbye all the harder. With all the luggage loaded into the cab, Jen is ready to depart for the airport. But before she does, Rishi reveals that he has something he wants to show her. And it's safe to say, Jen is super excited at the thought of a surprise. Will you marry me? Oh my gosh! Yes! Okay, brownie points to Rishi. That was very thoughtful and romantic. 
but they are already engaged. I think this grand romantic gesture is more about making Jen feel special before she leaves. It's a final attempt by Rishi to put a smile on her face, to reassure her that their relationship is solid. And it's also a way for him to replace the first engagement ring that he gave Jen, which she lost. I just want to propose again to uh, give or show my commitment to her. Whatever you were like missing before, I'll do everything for you in the future. This is exactly what Jen needed to hear before she flew back to the States. Just look at her beaming face. This gesture made her feel loved, made her feel wanted, and it reminds them both of the promises they've made to each other. Rishi's even acknowledged that he didn't do his best last time. This time he'll do better. And hopefully this will be enough to soothe some of the insecurities Jen is likely to have the minute she steps back on US soil. I have all these like happy, excited, wonderful emotions. And then on the other hand, it's like, I can't help but feel worried that the other shoe is gonna drop. So that's that, Jen's flying home and Rishi, well, I'm not quite sure what Rishi's doing. As of yet, there's still no plans for him to tell his family about Jen. Remember, he previously promised Jen that he would tell his family soon. But now that she's gone, have those plans been shelved? These are all the sorts of questions Jen knows that her friends and family will ask her when she returns. But she doesn't think to get clarification on any of them. As an outsider looking in, you can see how this doesn't look great. They're no closer to getting married, they don't have a date set, and Rishi hasn't even told his family about Jen. What was it her friend had so accurately said before she left? His family doesn't actually know yet. Blazing red flat. I didn't want to be back here so soon. I'm nervous to talk to my family about just everything and I need their support, but I'm not sure I'll get it. Jen's brother and her friends didn't really support her relationship prior to her leaving. So I very much doubt they'll support it now after all the lies Jen uncovered on this trip. She'll need to be strong and sure about Rishi in order to be able to face her loved ones and continue to back him. But we know that this trip has caused Jen to lose some of her trust in Rishi. I didn't expect you to come home. I totally screwed up on the visa. I feel so dumb. I was reluctant to come back because I was like, I'm gonna hear it. Jen's sister-in-law picks her up from the airport and they have a good debrief. Now, Jen's obviously gonna blame herself for the mix up with her visa, but I don't think that's gonna be enough for her family. They're going to want more. They're gonna need answers. Like, why haven't they got married yet? Wouldn't that have solved all of the visa problems? But first things first, before they get to the complex issues, it's time for some girl chat. Last time when you got back from India, you were talking about how passionate yes. your lovemaking was. Yes. Was it as good as last time? So Jen obviously hadn't told her sister-in-law that this time round she'd be adopting a no sex before marriage rule. But it's interesting that Jen doesn't mention what she told her friend Deer. You might recall how she told Deer the connection and the passion with Rishi wasn't quite the same. I mean, there's chemistry, but I think because I don't trust him for about certain things that I won't let myself feel that as much attraction. Now, when they return home, Jen's mum has cooked a nice meal. But Jen is definitely on the defensive, especially with her brother. She just knows that he's about to inundate her with questions that she's going to have a hard time answering. And it doesn't take long for her brother to get started. So, what have you guys been talking about me behind my back? What have you been saying? Do you want me to be nice or do you want me to be? Jen shows off her new ring and she tells her family proudly that Rishi has re-proposed to her, that essentially they've renewed their engagement. And while Jen's mum seems excited and amused at the prospect of Rishi down on one knee. I didn't know they did things like that in India. Jen's brother remains very unimpressed. He seems like a no-nonsense kind of guy and he's not easily distracted by some pretty jewellery. He wants answers, he wants to know the important stuff. Because as before, he still feels that Rishi is taking Jen for a ride. 
You guys didn't set a wedding date. There are still a lot of issues that we need to work out. Huh. Look at her brother's face. That's the face of a guy who knows that he was right all along, and he's feeling pretty good about himself. Everything he warned Jen about seems to have come true. But this is just the start of the questions. It's about to get a lot harder for Jen. The next thing her brother wants to know is how far it went with Rishi's family. Did he tell his family about her? And we start to see Jen's mum lose that smile on her face. I met the family. You did meet the mother? I did. He introduced me as a friend. What? And um, I found out that they have been trying to arrange a marriage for him. Really? Everyone round the table is shocked. In fact, her sister-in-law Tara seems genuinely angry on Jen's behalf. She asks Jen, why didn't you just reveal the secret relationship to his family? To which Jen explains that she didn't just want to do Rishi's job for him. She wants Rishi to man up. She wants him to tell his own family. But Jen's brother is sat there just shaking his head at her. He can't believe what he's hearing. And he said that he didn't tell me about that because he thought that he might lose me. And you believe him? I do. I don't believe him. What's clear to me watching this is Jen has a very good family unit around her. Everything her brother is asking, the way her brother is acting, all comes from a place of love. He wants to protect his sister. He doesn't want her hurt. But it's also clear that he's able to see the situation a lot more clearly than Jen can. He just can't understand how Jen's returning from a second trip to India without any real clarity. They still don't have any solid plans for her marriage in place. And that was exactly what he was warning her about before she left. I think Rishi proposing a second time without like telling his mother, it looks like a tactic of uh, stalling. She doesn't sound committed to it. I'm gonna throw that out there for you. Look beyond the romance of the gesture and I think you'll see that Jen's brother is totally right. What Rishi's doing here is stalling. Jen was in India for a month, but in reality, she's no closer to getting married. If anything, her relationship seems to be on shakier ground. She's seen and learned things about Rishi that she doesn't like. And with this conversation bringing those facts into stark focus, I'm a bit worried about how this might start planting seeds of doubt back into Jen's mind. That's the last thing that Jen wants, but it is necessary for her to hear the hard truth. Hearing my family say they don't trust Rishi, it's disappointing, but it's not surprising. I don't want to throw this relationship away because I feel like there's something there. Jen needs to figure out whether that something is worth all the trouble and anxiety that Rishi is bringing into her life, or whether it's something she could maybe find with another man who isn't so afraid to commit, who isn't afraid to tell his family about her.